Welcome back to At The Bar. We've got Cece and Jess from IWS here. Football, watch parties going down. Of course, it is football season. And for the grown and sexy, three variations of a Bloody Mary. Jess? So what we're going to do is we're going to take the bar straight into your homes. This is a cool idea of how to create that nice bar setup when you're doing your chips and salsa watching yeah. the, the big game. Um, so today, we of course have your nice bar set up with all your different beers here, but we're going to show you three variations of how to make a Bloody Mary. Nice. So typically you have your Bloody Mary, which everyone knows, is with vodka. So um, we're going to have Cece here make our premium Bloody Mary with Stoli vodka. And we're using our finest call. It's super simple. It's a three to one racial mix. So, so easy. You can have this bar set up at your home. People can come and make their own um, Bloody Marys as they come in. But we're going to show you three different ways to make it. The first one's the regular Bloody Mary with your vodka. I love Bloody Marys, but sometimes Bloody Marys are so tedious to make. With I as feel much, you. yeah, with There's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, there. you need tomato juice, you need Worcestershire sauce, Tabasco, sometimes horseradish, your celery, celery, yeah. your salt and pepper, all that stuff. And you know, people add other stuff to it. Where this one's super easy. You have the finest cop, premium Bloody Mary, in it. you add your stony vodka. Shake it up in the shaker, pour it in your mason jar, and ta-da, you're good to go. That's it, pants it. So That's easy. It, it. You know what? I love the mason jar thing. It kind of reminds me of my grandma. She used to always drink out of a jar. Right? I don't know what it is about building using a mason jar. I think it's one of the nicest trends for Bloody Marys right yeah, now. Yeah. But the great thing about it, too, is, you know, we, we're only going to garnish it with, you know, some olives and celery. But I've seen some people do a really crazy type of Bloody Mary in their glass. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it, Oh! So three to one, but let's say you wanted to make something a little stronger, you know what I mean? Heavy hands? Sure, no problem. <laughs> and that's it. It's super simple. It's your own Bloody Mary. Um, you garnish it. Some people, I've seen it. It's super cool. I've never done it yet, but you can take a grilled cheese and stick it on a stick, wow. add it, and load it up. And it's super fun. So it's just some cool ideas that you guys can do for the big game to write in your homes. Um, but it makes a perfect Bloody Mary and it's so consistent. That's what I love about it. Yeah, I mean, you could hack this in all kinds of ways. You could put like some hot pepper in there, maybe a little bit of Denancy for that kick. You know, some people like it hot. You're right. I, I'm that person. So I've never done the hot pepper because that kind of continues yeah, me. So I, I have a couple of dashes of Tabasco and I'm good Why to not? go. Why not? Hey. <laughs> so right there, there's your Bloody Mary. The next one we're going to go straight into is your Bloody Maria. So the difference between a Bloody Mary and a Bloody Maria is now you're using tequila. Wow. So there we go. You're getting up, you're have game day. We're gonna use um, one part Don Julio Blanco tequila. And we're gonna use three parts of this one. We have two different types of Bloody Marys. This is a premium Bloody Mary, so it's your traditional one. This one's called the Zesty Bloody Mary. So if you are that person who loves more of that celery taste, yeah. a little bit more tangy, this is your best friend right yeah, I mean, that looks like a touchdown. Tequila, Bloody Mary with a little zest, I'm done. Right? Let's get the game started. Why not, right? <laughs> Hope I make it to halftime. Right? <laughs> but I think this is so cool. I love doing parties at my house, and I love being very thematic. So, you know, simple things like this, you can get your own uh, cooler, football cooler, you can get your, your green tablecloth, your little field down here. But set it up and your guests can come and make their own drinks. I mean, this is great. I mean, I've been to a lot of themed uh, gatherings, but I mean, you know, a big uh, game, football with a Bloody Mary kind of twist, that just, that seems again like a, a touchdown. Right. Ready to shake. Ready to shake. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. And right there you have your Bloody Maria. So super simple, super easy. We'll garnish it up. We'll add some celeries, add some olives. I love olives with it. Um, and I love celery, so I always end up taking it out, eating the celery as I'm yeah, drinking, and yeah. it's so good. It's really low calorie too. Right? You want to go healthy? It's the way to go. So I'm curious. I've, I've never had a tequila, a Bloody Maria, so I'm kind of curious of how that tastes. You know what I mean? It's really good. Actually, I remember taking um, tequila shots before and always backing it with tomato juice or orange juice. So. Ooh. Odele! Right? <laughs> riba, riba! So we have your, your vodka, we have your Bloody Mary, you have your tequila, your Bloody Maria, and then the last one is called a Michelada, which is now with beer. Oh, wow. Interesting, right? Covering all the bases. Right? Covering all the bases. And like I said, it's so simple. You have two of this, and you have your mix, your your, your core drinks, and you're good to go. Um, kind of call it super simple again. Like I said, it's a three to one ratio. But now instead of doing three parts of this, we're gonna do three parts beer and one part this and you're good to go. This is great for those people who come to the gathering and they don't want to drink mixed drinks or you know any kind of like uh, liquor or spirits. Yeah. So hey, we got a beer, yeah. a beer bloody, a beer Mary. Yep, yeah. 
And the good thing about it too is if you come and you know you just want something a little bit non-alcoholic, just pour this over ice, add your your garnishes to it, and you're good to go as well. Hey, but so that's for the designated driver. It's, it's your your mocktail. You can do a Bloody Mary mocktail. So actually, we gave you four variances of. A Bloody Mary's. Nice. So we're using Heineken. Of course, uh, Heineken Light's really hot right now. You could use Heineken Light yep. too, right? Heineken, Heineken Light. Um, but super simple, super easy. Still a nice premium Bloody Mary right in your glass and uh, great for game day. This looks amazing. So mix it up again. Shaking. <laughs> First time I've ever seen anyone shake a beer, but let's go. Right? You usually tell you don't do that. Yeah, right. So <laughs> uh, three variations of uh, Bloody Mary's. Jess, Cece, I got to thank you guys. For uh, showing us this, and uh, this is something you could do. You got you know your football uh, gathering at the house, watching the big game, Bloody Mary, bail. This is at the bar. Thanks. <laughs>